guys welcome back to the channel and today we're going to talk about amber oud exclusive blue and detour noir and i'm going to draw a comparison on these two because one of these costs 22 dollars and the other one cost around 54 dollars and i think i already know that you already know which one is that so first off i just want to let you guys know that this is my view right others might have a different take on this scent or these two scents so I'm speaking on what I have experienced, which may vary by person and location. And what I mean by that is like, you might use this in the summer or in the winter, because the weather has a lot to do with how you perceive this fragrance. And for sure, these two are a fall winter type of fragrance. Detour Noir, the one that I got right here, cost me $22 from Yoma Shop and Amber Oud Exclusive Blue was $54 on LaBelle Perfumes Online. If you are interested, I will drop the link in the description so you could get these two fragrances from those respective shops. So first off, let's start with the opening. Now, Amber Oud smells a little bit strong like medicine, unlike Detour Noir, which is a little bit well-toned. And what I mean by that is, this smells super strong and the first couple of times that i used it it kind of hurt my nostrils it was a little bit too strong for my taste whereas detour noir was more subtle it smelled good but subtle to the point where i liked it a little bit more but you could smell the vanilla you could smell the sweetness in it and this one in the opening was just too raspy for me now things on the dry down kind of change because Amber Oud Exclusive Blue starts to shine a little bit more in the way that the scent grows strong and maintains its potency compared to Detour Noir, which starts to lose its chemistry. But don't get me wrong, because Detour Noir still smells great, but it's not as great as the Amber Oud Exclusive Blue with its boldness. Now, again, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that it smells bad, it's just that the dry down kind of settles down what these two are going to smell for the rest of the day. And Amber Oud smells like cookies. It smells really good. You can smell the vanilla. Whereas Detour Noir on the dry down is more subtle. Again, it's more of a quiet, kind of like the backseat student where they never speak. You know they're there but they're just quiet. Now, the projection, speaking of that, is bo on both of it is great. And I could say this because uh, while I was walking the aisles in Costco, or Costco, however you say it, one of the uh, lady there was like nowhere near me, but she walked up to me and said, hey, what kind of fragrance are you using? And I let her know. Um, she was interested in getting this for her husband. She said that it smelled great. It reminded her of cookies. A reminder her of a bakery now I was using a uh, detour nor now with amber oud exclusive blue uh, I went I got to work and my fellow co-workers could smell me from down the hallway and one of them said that I smell like brute or recently out of the shower smell and that's what they said I, I asked them if it smelled like medicine because to me it smelled different it smells like medicine and they said that they couldn't smell that, which leads me to say another thing. The way you perceive these two fragrances is not going to be the same as another person that smells it on you. And um, when I got on my car, my daughter asked me, hey, what are you wearing? It smells really, really strong and really good. And I was like, but is it, it doesn't smell bad, right? And she said no. And then I asked my daughter, "How? what does it smell like? And again... The common trend that I get from people is it smells like cookies, it smells like bakery, and powder, like baby powdery. Um, not in a bad way. You know, baby powder sometimes gets looked at wrong. So the next thing I want to talk about is projection. All right. Now, I would warn you that I would say that Amber Oud Exclusive Blue, it's a one spray deal. You spray once and that's it. It's super strong in projecting its fragrance. Whereas Detour Noir, 
you have to kind of double down on it. What I'm saying is the longevity on the on these two is stronger on the Amber Oud exclusive than the Detour Noir. Now, I would say that Detour Noir will last around four to five hours, and this could be sprayed on your skin or on a shirt, whereas the Amber Oud exclusive blue will last you maybe seven to eight. Now, you're like, wow, that's exaggerating. Well, I'm being legit. I could smell the Amber Oud exclusive blue on my shirt that I tossed on the laundry basket the next day. Like, it was waiting to get washed, and I could smell it. Um, Detour Noir, not so much. Yes, you could smell it that it's there, but it's not bad. Um, it's not like projecting too much, which, again, it depends on what you want to do. Are you that type of person that wants to be noticed or that wants to be discovered? So, again, I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm just going to finish by saying this. They are both great buys. Now, this is up to you whether you want to spend $50 on Amber Oud Exclusive Blue or you want to spend $22 on Detour Nord. Now, I'm going to post the pictures. Maybe I already did in the, ent in the intro, but they are fluctuating around that price. I just prefer Detour Nord over the Amber Oud Exclusive Blue because of this. And let me say this. I want to be that person that says hi with my fragrance or hello, right? I want to be in that spectrum. I don't like being the type of person that is like, hey, you look at me. Yeah, you you smell me. Yeah, that's me. Because, I mean, do you really want to be next to somebody that is smelling really strong like cookies? I mean, at the, in the beginning, yeah, it might smell good, but after a while, it just gets... A little obnoxious so my take is for the price detour nor is a good buy I would rather buy this than amber oud exclusive blue if you really want your fragrance and your scent to last longer I would go with the amber oud exclusive blue spend the $50 get the amber oud detour nor doesn't hurt keep it in your car spray it a couple times go out and hang out, come back, spread a little bit more, and you'll be fine. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. I read your guys' comments, and I appreciate, and that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to change it up a little bit. What I will say is that on my next fragrance that I review, I will try to show my face. I will try to let you guys see how I react to the fragrance. Again, I'm not here, I don't make money out of this. I just want you guys to make a wise choice when you're going out and spending money on a duplicate because yeah, we don't wanna buy the most expensive one for 400 bucks. But if we could if we could get a dupe that is cheaper, right? Then why not do that? And you know, kinda save some money on that end. There's various dupes out there and they are all great. So, these two are a good buy. It all depends on how much money you're willing to spend. Give me the thumbs up if you like this video, and I'll catch you on the next one.